getting ready to remove an aging dam, but ahead of the project, there was concern about how pulling the dam would impact the river and eventually even drinking water. However, a study and testing led by Earlham College researchers who teamed up with the city have created some peace of mind. News Center 7's John Medell has a look at the story in this week's edition of WHIO Reports. This week for WHIO Reports, we're here in Richmond, Indiana. We're along the Whitewater River, and this is the Weir Dam. It's the center of this partnership project between the city and Earlham College. Take a look at the Weir Dam. It's more than 100 years old and is now crumbling in spots. The city of Richmond says it has to go. Basically, functionality, safety, ecological benefits, and fish passage and recreation. Those are mainly the, the main reasons why the dam has to kind of see its way out. Low head dams like this one are dangerous for people in the water, including boaters. They create a drowning hazard. And Richmond's industrial past from old plants and mills no longer here is what created concern about what will happen to the river if crews remove the dam. So any contamination that is carried into the river during rainstorms or flooding events gets deposited behind dams. Um, as the water velocity slows down as you go over a dam, uh, it, all the sediment drops out. Shannon Hayes is a geologist at Earlham College in Richmond. And so we were concerned because of these former industries that there may be contaminants trapped behind the dam that are currently inert, I mean not really engaging with the ecosystem that would be released if the dam was breached, either because it failed or re was removed. For drinking water, one of the city's primary well fields is in the floodplain less than a mile downstream, and the city's water treatment facility is two miles downstream. So Hayes, another researcher, and three undergrads, all from Earlham, partnered with the city and took samples of the sediment behind the dam. They sent what they found to a state lab for testing. They found that there are low concentrations of a number of different metals and hydrocarbons, but none of the PCBs nor pesticides that were analyzed were detected. The state of Indiana's Department of Environmental Management will likely require more sampling and testing before they issue a permit for the work to remove the dam, but the work from Earlham researchers is a good sign to start. The concentrations are significantly lower than we thought and are unlikely to pose a significant hazard to human health or the environment. The city hopes 100% of the project will be covered by state and federal grant money. The cost won't come from Richmond's budget. The city says removing the dam will open this stretch of the river for redevelopment, including safe water recreation. Yeah, here in Richmond, I think we're really fortunate to have such like a great natural resource in the in the Whitewater Gorge and River going right through the heart of our city. So this is like we have a lot of potential to leverage this as a public amenity. The city's parks department told me the goal is to get the dam removed late this summer, but there's a chance it could get pushed back to late summer of 2023. We'll let you know what happens. In Richmond, Indiana, for WHIR Reports, I'm John Abdell, News Center 7.